Hi, let's talk about the different types of materials that you can find in the library. We're going to talk about things that you can actually um, pick up, um, like books and CDs, and we'll not be talking about online materials right now. Reference books. These are books that are located near the reference desk. They do not check out of the library, and they can give you very useful and authoritative background information. They're great if you don't know a lot about your topic, but they're also really good if you do know a lot and you need to have some kind of specific detail. Um, they usually have a green sticker on the spine. Here's an example a uh, Bible dictionary. We have a lot of commentaries and different kinds of things that are not necessarily that easy to find online. Recreational reading is on the first floor. These are bestsellers and popular items. Anything that has a purple sticker on the spine comes from the collection left to the library by Father Tom O'Neill, who had been one of our campus priests. We have career books. These are items that you can use to study for an exam, uh, find a future internship, or uh, look for information about a specific job or field, and maybe even look for graduate school. Children's materials are down the long hallway on the first floor. They're fiction and nonfiction. There's also a collection of award winners like Caldecott and Newberry books. These books range from preschool level through about high school. The nonfiction books are cataloged by Dewey Decimal. The fiction books are cataloged by the author's last name. New books are located at the front of the library. These are items that have been recently purchased. They've been cataloged and they have the stickers on the spine and the barcodes on the back. They stay up here until there are more new books that need to take their place and these ones will then be put into the general circulating collection. The library uses the Library of Congress classification system. A lot of academic libraries use this system and it compares to something like the Dewey Decimal System um, in that it is a little more complex. We have more ability to add different types of classifications to make it easier for you to find something in our catalog. We have curriculum materials in our library. These are primarily used by students in the education department. They are looking for examples of a grade appropriate textbook and it ranges from the um, younger grades, kindergarten, first grade, all the way through the high school grades. We have a lot of music scores in our library. They're shelved like a regular book and they do vary from the classics through some modern day composers. We have a lot of classical scores and also Broadway scores. The library has a big collection of CDs. They're primarily classical and Broadway. We also have an online listening service. The CDs can be checked out by anyone and they go out for three days. We also have DVDs and videos. They're primarily classroom videos, but if you find something you need for a presentation or you f do uncover a popular item in here, which we do have some, um, you may check them out. The periodicals area consists of print journals, magazines, and newspapers. Here on the left is a journal, next to it is a magazine. Journals are loosely classified as scholarly publications and just like a magazine they come out several times a year. A magazine would be a popular item. The differences between the two become a little more apparent when you open them up. On the left, the scholarly item is an awful lot of text, maybe some graphs and charts and very few advertisements, whereas the popular item on the right will have lots of color and ads. Um, the left-hand item is something your professors may ask you to use in your research as you go through school. You may be asked to use something that's peer-reviewed or scholarly, and what they're really asking you to do is to investigate some of the research done in your field and written by the scholars who are active in your field. Um, a popular item may be fine if your teacher says it's okay, but it, they do differ um, the way they look and the way they're used in papers. Another periodical would be a newspaper. It's a timely news 
items that are written up and published either daily, weekly. Uh, we don't keep these for a long time. In fact, we probably will only keep them a few months. If you have any questions about the different types of materials that you may find in our library, please do not hesitate to contact us or visit our website. Thank you.